alltså. Och det är så fruktansvärt irriterande. Ja, det är Jag förstår inte <laughs> hur det här... Hey, what's up guys? Pontus Lindman here. So what you're looking at right now is the PL Studio series. A series where you guys are gonna get to follow me along as a magician and mind reader in my everyday life. You're gonna get to meet my whole team of people working around me, making sure that everything works as it should. You're gonna get to meet my family and my dear friends and people that are really close to my heart. And you're also gonna get to meet my best friend, Stella. Well, she's a monster. Either way, the PL Studio series is going to be on all social platforms and on YouTube, but it's also going to be a physical place. A studio for me to work my arts, and a place for me to maybe bring in some of you guys and bring in guests to have a good time with me. So today I'm heading down to Monoloco, a climbing studio just a couple of miles from where I live, just to hang out with some dear friends and make sure that everything for the studio is planned. We have to make sure that we got all the cameras and all the microphones and all the technical stuff that we need. And also making sure that we're planning all the areas that are gonna be in the studio. Like I said, we've got tons of planning to do and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So just tag along and you'll see what it's like to be working as a magician and mind reader at a climbing studio just for the day. This is my best little friend, Stella. She's just 13 weeks old and she's a pain in the butt. So we're heading into Monoloco at the moment. I thought I'd show you what the place looks like, show you what it's like over there. Then we're heading to my sponsor's place to give me a, hair, a, a haircut and a beard trim. I think that's gonna be for the better, to get rid of this lumberjack beard. Then we're heading back over here to have a look at some blueprints and have a fun time. So like I said, just a quick tour of Monoloco. So now we're heading for the barber shop to get me a haircut and a beard trim. I think we're gonna get some stuff from my apartment and try a really good card trick on my friend Simon. I think it'll be a good one. So now to the barber shop. I feel like 15 pounds lighter. This is so nice. We're heading back to my apartment to pick up some decks of cards and this special thing that we're gonna need. You'll see what it is. We're just gonna set up this trick and make sure that everything is ready. So to start off with, we've got this card with a piece of tape on it. And we're just gonna place it right over here at this glass wall. So, say right about there, I'd say. Something like that. Then we're gonna go to the other side and grab that piece of paper and place it right in front of that card. So basically, we're just gonna take that piece of paper and place right in front of there. So we're just gonna take that one and make sure that the question mark lines up perfectly right in front of the shadow of the card, right over there, so that we're ready. 
that's basically it. So now we're set up and ready for the trick. Can we look? Now the important thing is that there's no way for me to find out that card. If you take that deck and just place it in there, give it a shuffle, uh, there's no way I could have seen that, right? I'm just going to show you what's behind here. I, I just placed a little prediction here a while ago. And I know it might not be accurate, but it looks something like that. So that's probably not shit card, right? No. So that's, um, I thought that we're going to try something and it's kind of silly, but it totally works. So it looks something like this. This is the most magical thing there ever, there ever have been. So I'm going to show you how to use it. So just take this Windex thing and give it a spray, just like that. And then you take one of those towels and you just give it a rub, like that. And that way, <laughs> it changes. So is that your card? <laughs> also. What the f***? How can you make it out like a whole other card? I really hope that you guys enjoy that because I sure did. Next time we'll be looking at some more magic and if you're lucky, I might even teach you guys something. Until then, like and subscribe below and I'll see you then.